always told my daughter, you see, honey, you can say my mother wore combat boots. She doesn't think that's real funny. So you weren't nervous about going into the Army or the military? Or? Well, honest to God, you've seen that movie, Private Benjamin? Mm -hmm. That was me, my, my recruiter, Sergeant Cheeks. I'll never forget him. Oh, you're going to go camping, and you're going to be with all these girls. And he really made it sound like it would be kind of fun. So when I got in there after like three weeks, I wrote him the nastiest letter. How dare you? You lied to me. I was just like Private Benjamin. I want to go to lunch. This is not what they told me it would be. So how was the Army treating women in those days? Um, to be honest, we weren't really treated like women. I, I think we were almost like... I think they thought we were like playing house, uh, a man might say. We were out in the field learning to shoot the M16 rifle, okay? And they said, all right, now we're on these uh, bleachers, you know, all the, the, our whole battalion of women. Women, ladies, we're going to teach you how to, uh, that there is no kickback to the M16 rifle. And they asked for a volunteer, and I volunteered. So I went up there, and here's what they did. They had me, now the M16 rifle, they had me face down range. They put the butt of the rifle on my forehead. And this is, and they faced, and they shot it. Now, their idea of no kickback and mine are two different things. I, it was hor. Oh my God, my head was killing me for like three days. I had the worst headache. Then they showed us films about what would happen if you didn't clean your weapon appropriately, okay? And they had, they showed films of guys out in the field, you know, in the rain and in the, in, in the battlefield, and they'd go to shoot their rifle and they got blown up because, and then they told us to clean our rifles. And I'm petrified because I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm hoping I'm cleaning it right. They're telling, and then we had, I felt like I was playing Russian roulette, you know, we'd clean our own rifles and then we'd go out in the field and practice with them. And I'm thinking, what if I didn't clean it right? <laughs> and so I was. And then one time they sent us into, they were going to prove to us that, that, you know, we had worked with tear gas. And they sent us into this room. And we, we had to practice with our gas mask. I showed you the gas mask we had to do. And to make sure that they were tight and secure. So what they wanted us to do, one of the exercises, is that when we went into this room one at a time. And they said, when you get in there, you take off your gas mask and just say your name and your social security number to the person and then run out. And if you happen to forget your name or your, you know, don't worry about it, just run out. And I'm saying to my neighbor, I said, just forget your name. That's hilarious. It's my turn to go in there. I've got my gas mask on. I go to take my gas mask off. I went, Jordan. And I could not remember my name. It was the real stuff. And I went tearing out of there. What would you say you learned? Self-discipline. I, I learned um, tenacity, uh, I, and that the things that were the most difficult for me to accomplish were through my, mili my military uh, courses I took, and I felt the best about myself after I successfully completed them. How do you look back on that whole experience? I look back and say I'm so glad I did it and I wouldn't give it up for anything. It was one of the things, in, it was one of the main things in my life that truly, again, made me feel good and, and made me realize I can do anything I put my mind to. You know, people tell you that and you say you can't, but that proved to me that I can.